I'm not sure if they do this in other parts of the world, but in Australian country towns, they paint old grain silos with some amazing artwork. The company Stanley Robotics has been developing a valet parking robot for airports. Customers park their cars in special hangars, then one of the robots will pick up the vehicle and park it more efficiently than humans, saving on car spaces. Meet Smo Nova, who specialises in graffiti artwork. While he was in between jobs for customers, he decided to paint a graffiti artwork on a wall in his backyard of the Spider-Man villain, Venom. This is the world's first solar powered train, made out of an old 1949 train. A resort owner in Byron Bay, Australia had it made to bring more tourists to the area. It's only designed to travel along a three kilometre stretch of track between the town of Byron Bay and the beach. This is the Kronos Ring, which is a true 360 degree slow motion capture ring, which is synchronized for simultaneous exposure for 360 degrees high speed imaging, with the ability to create slow motion video from any perspective at up to 1 million frames per second. This is Apple's head office in America, Apple Park, located in Cupertino, California. It was designed to house 12,000 employees, and all parking is underground. It is located on 175 acres, which is one mile in circumference, and costs 5 billion US dollars to build. When it comes to superhero costumes for Comic-Con, people go all out, spending weeks and sometimes months on designs. While well, Yuri Shirks has spent 14 years developing and creating probably the most movie accurate version of the Spider-Man outfit, based off the 2002 Spider-Man movie costume. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.